Today, I'm gonna to go over how you can calculate streaks in Excel. And this can be useful in the context of, let's say a sports team that's won consecutive games in a row, or you just wanna calculate how many games since their last loss, so their undefeated streak, right? And so this is a bit more complex than using just a count if function where you're just counting the number of times something happens within a range. Because with a, with a streak, you want to be able to reset back to zero once that streak is broken. So I'm going to show you how to do this two ways. One is using a, using a helper column to help uh, put the criteria in and then calculate the streak. And another way is going to be through a more complex method, but that doesn't require a helper column. So I'll go through both, both ways for you. So as mentioned, I'm going to create another field here for criteria and this is going to be really simple if I'm just calculating a, a, a simple win streak I'm going to say okay if this is equal to a W for win then I'm going to return a value of one or it's going to be a value of zero meaning it was wasn't a win copy this all the way down and now I'm going to calculate my streak so my assumption here is that the most recent results are at the top and the oldest ones are are at the bottom and so I'm gonna say okay if this is equal to zero then it's zero because either way the streak is broken or it's at zero it doesn't matter and if it's not equal to zero then I'm gonna take this value and add the previous streak value and if I copy this down you'll see it automatically updates now so if my first game first three games were a win then I've got one, two, three, but then a loss resets it back to zero. Win two games in a row, then the streak is at two, but then no wins until these last three games and the win streak goes back to three. Now let's say you also wanted to calculate the undefeated streak, so wins or ties. In that case, all we need to do is update the criteria. So in this case, I said A2 is equal to a W for a win, but I can adjust this by using the OR function and say a2 is equal to a win, and then put a comma, add another logical argument here to say a2 is equal to a tie. Now if I do this and copy this down, now you'll notice now that changes this streak because now this undefeated streak goes to four because we've got three wins in a row plus a tie before that. Here we had two ties, so that streak goes up to two for an undefeated streak. So using a helper column, it's really easy to create um, the logic you need to, to calculate a streak. As long as you know you know which, which direction your uh, most recent games are, then you can just build off the, the prior streak. So now I'm gonna switch gears and go through a more complex um, approach, and that's using a, a larger larger formula. So in column F, I'm going to create my, my streak. And in this case, it's going to be a bit more complicated in the sense that I need to calculate uh, the sum if um, the certain criteria is met, but also adjust my range. So I'm only going back to where the streak was last broken. So it's a bit, it's a bit tricky. So I'll, I'll tr try to break this down as, as well as I can and also leave a link uh, to the post related to this video, so in case you want to follow along uh, a bit closely. So to start with, I need to do a, a summation because I need to calculate all the all the ones or zeros like I did in this case for the criteria. I'm going to create an if function. We're using if function. And the key to making this all work is the indirect function, which allows me to specify a certain range. So the indirect function, I need to put my range in quotes. So I'm going to select start with column A and then use row A2. And the purpose of this is just to say I'm going to start from the, the current row that I'm on. Okay, then I'm going to use another ampersand and put a colon A. And now in this case, I'm going to use the match function to say, okay, I want to find the last time that there was a loss, okay? And again, using, for the lookup array, again, I'm gonna use the indirect function, 
And again, start with A. And I'm again starting with the current uh, current cell that I'm on. And then ampersand. And then I'm going to go all the way down to A15. So I'm going to hard code this just because I know um, the, the last row that I'm going to be in. You can obviously change this to a similar format where you could use um, uh, the, the last row in, in your data set. But the point is I'm just showing that you know I want this to go down from here to here to look for that look for that L or look for that loss okay and then what I'm going to do and actually close these quotes first in the match type I'm looking for an exact match and what I also need to do is add row a1 the point being because how the match function works is it's going to look for the uh, the value from cells A2 to A15 here. So if it finds it on the third row, then it's gonna return a value of two. So I need to add that plus one to adjust for the fact that I'm not starting from the first row. So I need to jump it down. So if I was further down, then I would need to adjust it accordingly. So it wouldn't be always A1. It depends on how far down my, my actual search is beginning. Okay, so I'm gonna close this out. And so I'm gonna set it equal to a W. So if it's equal to a W, again, same sort of logic as before for a win streak, then it's gonna return a value of one, otherwise zero, and we'll close this out. So right now you can see it's getting me that correct value of three. So let's walk through this. I'm gonna go through the formula tab and go to evaluate formula. So here you can see how this is working. So it's, go, it's pulling A2 and going to A and then finding L. And it's going A2 to A15. So it's looking where the L was found. Last L. And that was on the fifth instance. So one, two, three, four, five. But this is not row five. That's where that plus one comes in for the row. So I add one and now it's six. So I'm looking at A2 to A6 now. And I'm looking at all the W's within that range because that's when a streak was last broken. And so now it's going to look at all those W's. So it sees three W's in there. And so it's going to return three ones. And that's the value of three. Now, the one thing that I need to adjust for this is when I copy this down, I get NA's here. And the problem is because there's no L's to be found in here. So I need to make a slight adjustment to this formula. So when I go to this match function here, before this, I'm gonna add an if error function to say, okay, if if it's not found, I need to return a different value. And so this is the part where you wanna pay attention to where your brackets are and look at these helpers to see, okay, where you, where you are and which function. And so you'll notice I'm still in the match function here, the match type, that's not what I need to do. Now I've got this value. And so this is where it's adding that row. And I'm saying, oh, if after adding that that row, a, a12 here, in which case up here was, is a1, then what I wanna do is if there's an error, the value I'm gonna use is 15. It's gonna be the last 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 value here so again this is this can be sort of interpreted as a as a max or whatever the case may be so i'm just selecting the last last row here now when i do that that gets rid of my error so let's take a look again what this does so again we're looking at a13 and we're looking for that l in which case is giving us that na so na plus 12 is obviously going to be an error so if it's error, it's returning that value of 15. And this is important because now it goes from A13 to A15. So it's gonna go all the way to the bottom, right? And obviously 15 is just, in this case, because I've got 15, it goes down to row 15, but obviously this would be different if you had a larger data set. And this is where you could use a, a max function or something, but I'm trying not to make this overly complicated more than it needs to be anyway. So now it's looking at that range A13 to A15. And again, looking at all the Ws, and there's three of them, so it's summing them up. And that gives us three. So I can copy this formula down 
and back up and it, everything looks to be okay. So that's how you can calculate streaks in Excel. And again, I'll have a post uh, about this on, on my site that I'll, I'll link to if you want to follow along. And hope you found this useful.